do. What y'all doing over here? <laughs> y'all got to sit on D? Bing dong. Bing dong. Got the Honda Civic ready for the Kush. Huh? <laughs> you got the Honda ready for the Kush? Yeah. What they call them here? The tuners. tuners. Hey, look, go go get a hammer and knock the windows out. What is rolling down? Talon Willis Racing. Trying to get some sleep inside there and they all out here working already. Tell him what you doing? Body work. Huh? Body work. Body work, it's a brand new body. You shouldn't be having to do body work. I had to do body work. Huh? I said I had to do body work. What'd you do? KO the wall, I guess you could say, making it past the leap. Got a wheel, a little bit of damage right here on the driver's side. What uh, what's the plan today? First off, we got to dodge the rain. I think they said there's some rain in the area. Fix the car, do all that. Get it set back on kill. Get it set back on kill, and hopefully, got to do the same thing we did last night. Yeah. Hey, look right there, Tom. There's a socket. You see that socket laying up under that wheel right there? All right, well, we out here Saturday morning. Uh, gonna do everything all over again. It's another heat and feature for the limited. It pays a thousand to win. Uh, Corey Neal is third out of 58 uh, factory stocks. So he's locked in. I think they took the top four last night. So he's locked in the big dance. And then we got a whole nother complete show we fixing to go clean tires up fix the body and uh get ready for another night of racing well here we are boot hill Speedway, uh, Talon and Chad and Corey and all them working on the car. Carrie's in the motorhome getting Hallie up and ready. Medicine. Uh, I come down here to look at the track. I'll show you all a little glimpse of it. We had a fine racetrack last night. Bubba and them got this thing looking good. Pretty wet and infield and stuff from the rain they've gotten, but as far as the racetrack goes. You couldn't have had a better track last night. Uh, see if I can show y'all where we parked at. I'm standing in turn four right here. That's down the front stretch. We are way out there by that big tree. I'm hoping that they caught him for some rain today. I'm hoping that stays away, but uh, as y'all seen, Good night last night. Talon's first night. First time to ever run Boot Hill. Uh, and he got the win. Uh, just, I don't even know what to say. Uh, proud of them. Uh, proud of that team. Uh, they're just, they just work good together. And Chad's really good with Talon. And always gives them a good car to drive. Uh, just can't thank them enough. Like, I... I've been racing long enough to know that you got to have a good car to park in Victory Lane, and, and they've given them a good car, that's for sure. But uh, we're going to hang around today, work on the cars. I think I'm going to go to town and clean tires after a while and just hang out. But uh, that's it, Boot Hill Speedway. We'll see y'all again tonight. Love to repeat, but we'll just take a good top three, top five finish would be awesome. Especially, I mean, like I said before, we're not points racing at all because uh, I think most most of the USRA limited guys has already got 
anywhere from nine to 12 races in. We're, we just got race number seven in, but they take the, your best 20 races. I don't even know if we'll get 20 races in, but uh, if he continues on like this, I mean, if, if we can get 20 races in, he's, he stands a pretty good chance of, uh, of doing good in the points if he continues racing like this. Uh, but it would be nice to get 30, 35 races in just because once you get to 20, uh, they just keep your best 20. So uh, you start your your bad races, your bad nights start falling off once you get to once you get to 20 races, which helps a lot. But like I say, I don't even know if we're gonna get to 20. But uh, I guess we'll just race when racers are available and uh, see how it goes. But we'll see y'all in a little while. Just got through washing tires. Sun's out. We can go finish things up. Well, I'm laid over here in the shade and my beautiful wife laid over there in the sun. What you doing in the sun, Carrie? It's hot. You imagine you by the pool right now? Or at the beach. At the beach. Well, you got enough sand last night. It probably feels like the beach. What you think about your baby boy last night? Was you proud? Very proud. Got it done. Got it done. He did good last night. He's going to eat with Chad and them. I'm sitting here watching the baby monitor. Hallie's still asleep. Mama's sunning on her vacation. And me and Talon just got done washing tires. and We chilling out now. But... See y'all after a while. Alright, well me and Talon's headed to go get our pit pass for night number two. Talon, what are we gonna do tonight, son? Hopefully win again. Yeah. That'd be nice. I figure it's gonna be a few more cars come tonight though. I don't think it'll be as easy. Yeah. Uh not that it was easy last night, but it all just went played oh, out well, perfect. Yeah. Uh got two more of our local cars. Duke Rock and Mickey Steele here is 37, so that's two more cars. I figured it'll be, what you think, 25 or so tonight? I don't know, maybe more than that. I just seen it. I seen it. A couple of I think it was 19 last night. Yeah. And uh, probably be, uh, I'd say 25, 30 tonight. But, uh, anyway, we're gonna go get another pit pass and go from there. What's up? We uh, just got done with hot laps. Track's still a little bit greasy. Really couldn't tell anything, but uh, I hit one corner and didn't feel bad, so I don't know what, if we're going to change anything or not. Starting sixth in the second heat, I think it's maybe 30-something cars, some more really good cars. And uh, starting sixth in the second heat, passing points. So if we can get by maybe three or four, that'd be really good. But main thing is just don't tear anything up for the heat race because don't pay anything so just really be ready for the uh, feature if we can make it in but uh main thing just try to pass cars and not tear anything up but uh i'll let y'all know how we do after the heat race talent you ready you're in a tough heat <laughs> probably the toughest heat a man could be in huh probably any of the guys in the heat race can probably win it yeah, yeah. Probably win. And it's passing points, so yeah, definitely gonna be hard to pass. Not the not the heat that you want to have to have passing points in. Yeah, definitely not. But you got to finish. Yeah, main thing. How many cars was it? Thirty-four 30s. tonight. I know yeah. it's thirty. Something. Thirty something tonight. Got it sitting on dig, ready to go.
changes. Uh, so I didn't get to come out here right after the heat. Hallie had had a seizure in the stand, so I hadn't got to talk to him right after the heat, but I'm gonna catch up with him in just a little bit and uh, talk to him. He, they, when I got here, they were already making some changes, but I'll uh, catch up with him in a little bit. Six to second in the heat. Starting to rain. Is it starting to rain? Yeah. All right. Just got done with a rain delay. Yeah. Uh, first time I got to talk to him. What do you think about the heat? It was pretty good. Kind of got like lucky. Everybody in front of me just about broke. Yeah. Everybody was kind of dropping like flies. Yeah. Uh, just survive. Yeah. The car was pretty good. Yeah. I done looked at the lineup. You know where you start? Outside pole. Who's on the pole? Hennigan. Dustin Hennigan. I racing teammate, huh? No, or, no y'all just race against, each, race against other. each other. All the time. That's cool. Two youngsters that do a lot of eye racing together uh, get to start on the front row of the big dance tonight. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you gonna let them beat you? I don't know. It's gonna be probably a good race. Hopefully so. Uh, anyway, outside pole for the feature. Car was good. They made some changes. There's a bunch of people leaving. Yeah, they ain't got no paint. Car steadily leaving right now. It's coming pretty good, a little rain, but I don't think it was enough to rain it out. I know it wasn't actually. Yeah. Uh, probably gonna be just a little bit of a delay. But anyway, you ready? Ready. Current situation: rain delay. Telling him where he needs to run? Where does he need to run? The top. The top. Put it on the rails. Put it on the rail, <laughs> Mama said, tell him. You know she knows. Go fast, turn left. Don't get past. <laughs>
Let's go! <laughs> played out perfect like Everything. Carl was good telling you done an amazing job but I think in the heat I think he was in the best heat there was and and just some mishaps on some fast cars allowed him to get from six to second start on the outside front row but that's what it takes it takes luck and it takes skill and I think you have both tonight huh what about that car I think did, did Chad have it going yeah he going I was I was had it I was as hard as I could too. Yeah. I looked down one time, I think it was at like 220 maybe. I was like, oh, good. Yeah, you good. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, be two videos. Y'all like, subscribe, leave some comment. Let us know what y'all thought about Talon's first trip to Boot Hill. Bring it home how much? 1500. 1500 for your first trip here ain't bad. We'll see y'all next to, hey, do we have some big news next week maybe? We got some big news. Big news coming up next week. Hopefully, if everything yeah. goes as planned, uh, we're gone. Hopefully, it's the next video that comes out probably about a week from now. We we'll get to uh, expose some stuff we've been working on behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. But uh, anyway, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. We'll see y'all. Oh, y'all guess what the news is, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if y'all figure guess. it out. I don't know if they will. No, I don't know. Leave us a comment. Bye. What's happening? Good morning, Sunday morning. Out here at Boot Hill Speedway. Uh, fixing to load up, load the four wheeler and golf cart up and head towards our house, which is about two and a half hours south of here. Uh, if you've seen an awesome weekend, uh, I really don't know how the weekend gets much better than that. Uh, first time here. Picked up the feature win in both nights. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Just, I mean, it's a deadly combination, that's for sure. That's probably the one of the fastest limiteds I've ever seen, and Talon is doing an amazing job of driving it. Uh, I was watching them last night get in turn one, I mean, turn three down there on the cushion, like on the throttle not even missing his marks that's that's almost impossible or i can't do it i've never been able to run like that on the cushion uh he did a good job uh it is sunday as i told y'all it is mother's day happy mother's day to every mother out there uh i was blessed to have a great mother uh not with us anymore 
but if you go if you go back it's kind of crazy now that we've been doing that we've been doing this over a year already but last mother's day i talked about talon got the uh the win on mother's day weekend i think as long as my mom's been passed which is six years if i raced on mother's day weekend including the the year after she passed i've won i think i've won every weekend on mother's day weekend uh if i raced and talon has this is two mother's day weekends he's as long as he's been racing and he won both of them uh so i think that's cool uh he talon is blessed with one of the best mothers out there which is my wife carrie uh y'all don't even see what she goes through for us to be able to come out here and make circles trust me i'm telling you uh she's sitting up in the stands dragging hallie up the bleachers dragging her down packing medicine packing uh clothes packing everything for everybody just so we can come out here and make circles and and do what we love to do she's the one that sacrifices pretty much her life take care of Hallie and and me and Talon so happy Mother's Day Carrie I love you uh, we wouldn't be possible without you none of this trust me I, I know uh, so we love you and we love all the mothers in our life and happy Mother's Day to everybody and we fixing to head home go spend some time with the family and uh got possibly some big news coming uh next week should get it on the next video if if all goes as planned and uh be just a it'll be cool but uh gotta thank chad brandy robert Corey, uh all the sponsors on that car i don't know them but uh I mean, they got a nice piece right there, and that's a great team. We love racing with them probably more than we like racing just ourselves because I get to kind of help with Hallie more, not be so focused on the car. Chad makes all the decisions on the car, and boy, did he have it flying last night. Uh, but that's it. Thanks to Bub and Rilo. Uh, first time I've been to Boot Hill in a long time, and man they they had this this track on point it rained last night and even with the rain delay i mean i don't know if you can see it that thing is perfect but we'll catch y'all later we fixing to go start hooking up our motor home to our little trailer and loading these four wheelers and golf cart up and we'll see y'all next time peace